Morning peeps, I'm back. This is written by E.G. White. The verse for today is Matthew 9, 2. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven you. There are today thousands suffering from physical disease who, like the paralytic, are longing for the message. Thy sins are forgiven. The burden of sin, with its unrest and unsatisfied desires, is the foundation of their maladies. They can find no relief until they come to the healer of the soul. The peace which he alone can give would impart vigor to the mind and health to the body. Jesus, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. In him was life, and he says, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. He is a quickening spirit. And he still has the same life-giving power as when on earth he healed the sick and spoke forgiveness to the sinner. The effect produced upon the people by the healing of the paralytic was as if heaven had opened and revealed the glories of the better world. As the man who had been cured passed through the multitude, blessing God at every step and bearing his burden as if he were featherweight, the people fell back to give him room and were awestruck. Faces gazed upon him, whispering softly among themselves, We have seen strange things today. The Pharisees were dumb and amazed and overwhelmed with defeat. They saw that here was no opportunity for their jealousy to inflame the multitude. The wonderful work wrought upon the man whom they had given over to wrath of God had so impressed the people that the rabbis were for the time forgotten. They saw that Christ possessed a power which had, they had ascribed to God alone Yet the gentle dignity of his manner was in marked contrast to their own haughty bearing. They were disconcerted and abashed, recognizing but not confessing the presence of a superior being. The stronger the evidence that Jesus had power on earth to forgive sins, the more firmly they entrenched themselves in unbelief. From the way, from the home of Peter, where they had seen the paralytic restored by his word, they went away to invent new schemes for silencing the Son of Man. Excuse me. Every time I read stories like that about the paralytic and different stuff in the Bible, I am totally amazed that how can you see it with your own eye and not believe? How can that be? It's, it just boggles the mind, if you ask me. The problem is, um, in the last days, there's going to be signs and wonders from Satan's side. Because in Revelation, it tells us that um, God is going to be lifting his protection. You know, right now, he holds Satan back to some degree. I mean, Satan still has authority down here and does a lot more than what we would like for him to be able to do but he does but there's going to be a point where God's going to pull back and let him have his way am I going to be able to discern the right from the wrong I'm hoping I can I hope that I know the Bible well enough to know God and to know Jesus and to be able to be discerning the Pharisees weren't they had greatness in front of them and they chose to be irritated because it took away their splendor. I have a couple of songs, um, very good songs. Again, I, I, love, I love music. Um, I play music a lot. And so when I share these songs, these are ones that I play over and over and over. The first one is Who Am I by Casting Crowns, great song, and uh, the next one is Gospel Souls Sing, Lord I Lift Your Name High, 
And it's so relevant for today. Who am I that God cares for me at all? And I want to lift his name on high. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I have my book peeps. Good morning, Heavenly Father. We're so grateful that your son was given to us as an inspiration and someone to follow and, dare I say, try to emulate. I know it's very hard, though. In this world, Satan tries very hard, and he knows us as closely as you do, just about. I'm lifting up my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones. Help them, along with me, to discern the right from wrong and be able to follow in your son's footsteps. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.